Watch your search fence. Let's dig some holes. <laughs> First hole. Weirdly started off there, ended up over there, but I see something green around. Something green around. It's a coin. First hole of the day. We've got, I don't know why I'm singing. If, if you can possibly call that singing. Absolutely toasted. About the size of an old halfpenny. We'll clean it up and have a look later. I'm going to crack on for now. First hole, coin. Come on, I do love this field. Ta da! Well, I was just about to throw this twisted old bit of rubbish away until the mud started falling off. And we know where that is, we've seen them before. That is a Buffs badge. It's one of the later ones because it's got the Buffs written down the bottom there. Well, it will have once I clean it all up. But that. is cat badge or a lapel badge at least from the buffs regiment the southeast kent regiment and as i said before my grandfather's regiment and he told me the buffs stood for buried under 50 foot of something quite unpleasant excellent i do love this field that's going to clean up nicely maybe we can straight oh, no i'm not even going to try and straighten it out yet another buffs badge Fantastic field this is. Woohoo! Okay, there's a lesson for everybody. I just filled my hole in like you're supposed to. Run the coil back over it just to see. Another signal. And that's the pin that goes on the back of there. There we go. Oh look, there's a bit of copper or something through here. That's a shiny one underneath all of that. Look at that. So there you go. Always check after yourself. Always check your hole. Here's something I didn't really want to say out loud, but there you go. Always check where you've been <laughs> it doesn't get any better no matter how you say it there we go lesson learned brilliant okay. put the grasses on i think i found my first ever snake buckle and that's quite old so it's in the shape of a serpent let's look at the detail on that i presume it's a buckle i can't see any fixings on that the sign of the snake let me in right we won't go into a northern soul rendition right now but we've got a snake if there is a snake buckle that's my very first one that's fantastic happy days look at that beautiful now you wait 10 years for your first snake to come along <laughs> And low. I mean, what? That, I mean, it's not as nice as the other. I just what? A. Eh? A. Eh? I don't understand. It's quite stylized. This one. More investigating to do when we get back to the ranch. Two snakes. We've got a name for the video, I guess, haven't we? Nip me in, oh, tender one. No, 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 no. No more Northern Soul. It's in my head now. It's going to be in my head all day. Another snake. Sign of the snake. Ladies and gentlemen, after not the greatest of rows, this one. The last row was great, but this row wasn't. At long last. Hammered. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. Very fragile. I don't know if it's going to make it home in one piece. I'll do my best to get it in a little bit of focus for you. It is so thin. Some detail on it, but you can see the big crack on it. I'm hoping that will get home in one piece. I don't know where I'm going to put it to make it so. Look at that. At long last, a hammered. Don't know what we're going to get off of that, but we will see. Ha ha ha! Hammered! Da, 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 da. Excellent news. Excellent. Right, going to the end of this road, row, and then I'll probably call it a day. Because me and my little hammer are going home. Woohoo! Well, it's very much like buses, isn't it? You wait all day. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It might just be a. Uh, might just be a token. Well, if you have a look at that, 
I'm not going to give it the. Uh, or shall I? Hammered! Oh, I don't know. Half hammered. We go. There we go. Jury's out on that one. Clean up time. Water gang, we're back at the ranch. Let's have a quick go through of the highlights of the day. Obviously, we've got the uh, Buffs cap badge with the gilding, some of the gilding still on it. They come up nice, didn't it? I've straightened it a little, but you don't want to do it too much because it's just going to. Mess up, see the tail's tucked behind the wing there. That's as good as that's going to get without breaking. I think that's, that's the third, maybe the fourth Buffs cap badge I've got now. I'm pleased with that. Now the smaller of the snake buckles is the older one. According to uh, the websites I found, that's that 16th, 17th century, that is. I found one pretty much identical, and that's the way they dated it, because the face is all different apparently. It's a little bit snapped off the end, but that's not a problem. This one, 18th, 19th century, with a maker's mark. Can't make out the maker's mark. That's not as old, just as nice. This other hammered, it is a hammered. You can tell by the thickness, I mean, but it's been smoothed down into a love token. I don't know the history of the love tokens or why or what, but it was the thing to do for quite a while. You smooth them all down uh, and you just gave people a, a flat silver disc. don't really understand the thinking behind it, but nothing on it. Smooth as you like, but it was once a little hammered. So that was good. Now this one. Is proving to be a mystery. I don't think it's silver. It didn't clean like silver. I did the old um, silver paper and spit clean on it and that's what we got. There is th things on it. I've photographed it as closely as I can and I've put it on different websites and stuff, different metal detecting forums to try and get an ID from some of the geniuses that, that occupy these sites and so far we've all drawn a blank. So that is a mystery. If I do get an idea on that, I will tell you all about it at a later date. So, that was a great day. Really enjoyed it. Hope you did too. Give me a thumbs up. Carry on subscribing. Tell your mates. I'll see you all soon. Ta-da.